Hey guys, uh, I'm making a, a compost tumbler out of that black barrel I showed you the last video, and I'm going to build the bed frame, a bed frame. I'm going to build the frame out of bed frames. And I'm just going to show you how I'm doing this. I'm going to weld them together, like you see here. I got the ends already cleaned up, but I'm going to clean up right there and right there on both pieces so I can weld those together. And both sides of that are already cleaned up, but I'm going to clean the edges of that one piece up so that I can tack weld it in place. And then I'll lay a good bead on the back side of it when I'm done. And when I get done up at the top right there, I'm going to use a piece of uh, steel tubing that I have back there in the back, a square tube. I'm going to cut it and put a notch in it so that the barrel's axle, the PVC pipe or metal pipe or whatever I use, can rest on it and then uh, the barrel can just tumble on the inside so uh, let me go ahead and get these frames made up and uh, I'll be right back all right here's the frame mostly welded together I've got the my hit in here with the uh, welder <laughs> but I got the basic a frame welded and cross members welded in I'm trying not to put nothing across there but if I need to, I will. Next, I'm going to focus on fixing a piece of uh, metal here to affix uh, the pipe that goes through. Hey, Jocko. It goes through the barrel and it'll rest on here. And uh, just so you can see how crappy a welder I am. That's just the basic construction of it. There's nothing fancy about it I just cut um, the legs are 39 inches and uh, let me get my tape here that makes it 33 inches it's gonna be about 35 when I'm done 36 inch legs sorry and the Cross members are 39, right? Yeah, they were 39. We got to count for being in the structure too, so that's 40 inches. All right, be back in a minute. I'm gonna grab something. Check it. I'll be right back. All right, what I had in mind is I've got PVC pipe that will go through here. I'm thinking about welding a couple of pieces, like right there. Cut it off right there and weld it on top of the post on both legs and uh, run the PVC through. Now I can either do that or I, can, I got a longer piece and I can just run the whole thing through the barrel but the barrel needs support to turn so in any case um, let me walk back here. Right back. Okay this is the barrel and right here is where the hole is going to be for the pipe. Now if I do like I was planning on doing and using a piece of PVC like this and run it through the barrel, then I can rest it inside those metal pipes like I was showing you. But I, I'm going to believe that the sides of the barrel need to have some support. They're going to carry the weight of the compost especially if it's damp. So what I'm probably going to do is a little thing here, is drill a hole and get a 2 by 6 mount it to the inside, of course non-treated because you don't want that stuff in your compost. Mount it to the inside on both sides, drill the hole through the wood and that'll give it support. I think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, I've cut two pieces of pipe end of grind there's a seam that goes through it right there and you make sure you grind that down so it doesn't cut into your PVC I've used the rotor zip going around the uh, edge I knew I was gonna say that I used the Dremel to go around the edge to knock off any burrs so it didn't cut into the pipe on both sides and I sanded the <coughs> galvanization off the outside of them I got two pieces what I'm gonna do with them so I'm going to set them right there and weld them 
in place. Like that. <clears throat> but they have to be straight. Because if they're not, the pipe will rub on one side or the other and just wear out. Um, this is the pipe I'm using. I've showed you it before. Uh, I want to say it's, yeah, there's the size. Inch and a half. I think. That's not the size. Yeah, it is. It's an inch and a half. You see, right? It says an inch and a half. And that's about an inch and three quarter piece of tailpipe, actually. I put that on my truck. All right, I'm going to even this out a little bit so that this will sit straight. And I'll be back. All right, you, got, you don't have to watch me do that boring stuff. Okay, they're welded on. I clean, clean them up, even them out, and you can see that pipe fits right through there. A little extra. And uh, the barrel's going to sit on here. Now the next step is to drill the holes in the barrel. Make sure everything fits good. Then I'm going to put a piece of plywood. I was going to use a 2 by 6 but I can't find one. I could go buy one, but I haven't spent any money on this except for the welding wire. So why go buy boards? So I'm going to use a piece of birch plywood that I had in the shop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on the inside and place screws in from the outside to suck it to the plastic. Drill a hole. And that will help support the side of the barrel. As you can see, the barrel is pretty stout as it is. It's not going to, it's not going to um, really give much. So that plywood will give plenty of support. All right, so let me find the hole saw and we'll get to that. All right, it's starting to rain, but I wanted to show you um, how I got the center of this barrel. I'm using the seam. The seam is the center. And then you come over and you measure from edge to edge, which is about 22 and <clears throat> 5 eighths, which breaks down to about 11 and, what was that, 3 sixteenths? I have to do the math, make sure. But anyway, halfway of that, and you get the center, and I just put a little hole there. I'm going to redo my math, it's starting to drizzle, so make sure it's the center, and uh, then I'll drill the holes on both sides. Just wanted to show you how thick that barrel was. It's a little over a quarter of an inch thick. It's five sixteenths of an inch thick. So, yeah, it's going to have lots of support. So, adding that plywood will just reinforce it. So, um, that's one hole. Flip it over, do the other. All right, we got the holes in the barrel. We got it sitting on the PVC pipe. It rotates well. The reason I'm going to hand put it up here is because. In order to put the support boards on the inside, I have to cut a door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the hinges and make a cut across here. Sorry. Make a cut across here and a cut across here. Because I want the door to be a little wider than this. Alright, I got a hole cut. I got a 2x4 up here. I got a 1x4 down here and I got a grind these screws down. I'm not too worried about them over there because they can just you know grade up the mulch as it goes around. Um, I got the door over here. This is the piece of cutout and I got two hinges on it. I don't have latches yet so I'm gonna have to get some latches. That goes that's that it's hard to do this and that at the same time. <laughs> but anyway, it sits in there like that. And just go down. And that rests on that two before. And then you put your latches going across there like that, you know, from, from uh, in to out, or out to in, just to hold the door shut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount the, the, the door on there. What I think I might do is put a 2x4 in the back back there to help balance it so the door will stay up all the time. Because you don't want the door hanging down. If you put worms in there, they're just going to crawl out. So, um, let, me, let me finish hooking up this door. And then I'm going to cut the uh, reinforcement for here and the other side. And I'm going to make a spacer to go in here so that this doesn't rub against the frame. 
All right, I finished. I put the boards on the side like that. On both sides. I ground off all those screws that were down there. And I put a spacer on the outside right here. Keep it from rubbing. Now, if I wanted to, I could drill a hole through this plywood right here on both sides and put some two-inch screws through there to hold that tight. Do that on both sides. Then I could put an elbow here coming up. Hey, Jelly. Coming up and then the elbow going back over and make a handle so I could turn it like that. But I don't see no need in doing that. But if you wanted to do that, you could. Um, some people drill air holes in their barrel. I'm gonna hold off on that until I fill it with compost. Um, I'm gonna go get some uh, bolt locks to put on here. And I'm gonna call it done. So I'll be back with those bolt locks. Alright guys, uh, I went to the hardware store today. I bought some of these. Um, they're called barrel bolts. And what I'm gonna do like I was telling you earlier, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna bolt them across here like that to hold the lid shut. I don't know if you can see that or not. So let me do that. Let me do that and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, guys, there you go. That's how I'm was putting them on there. Do like that. And you have to. Because of the barrel being a little warped, I guess, from the board, you have to press down on it. But I have both of them on there and the hinges. And you see this gap right here. I'm not sure why there's a gap there like that because I didn't miscut it that bad. The barrel must have shrank or something. But uh, probably what I'll do is get some uh, aluminum, eighth inch aluminum strip and uh, cut it to go between here and down here to cover that gap on both sides I could probably get a three foot piece to do just what I need it to do um, that'll, that'll help hold that door flush I'll bend it the shape of the barrel and put it in there so it'll help hold that barrel together um, I might also take this 2x4 out of here and break out my disc sander and sand it so it has a curved top to go in there you know just to be fancy but this this is going to work just fine for what I need it to do the only other thing I was thinking about doing if you want to get fancy with it is to get caps to go on the end so that they sit close to this to keep the pipe from sliding back and forth you know like that I left this side open so that you could push a wheelbarrow under here to unload it and I also think what I'm gonna do is drill a hole in the side um, and through this uh, angle iron and um, too bad this isn't facing the other way there's already a hole in it right there just drill a hole in the side say about right there and then into the barrel so that the, the lid stays up. Um, I'll show you. So that my lid is up like that. And then I'll just put the pin through it to hold it in place. Smart, huh? Is this going to move either way? Well, maybe not so much once I get the compost uh, clippings and stuff in there. And, the weights in the bottom of the barrel it'll probably stay up we'll see we'll see i plan on cutting grass tomorrow as you can see it needs it looks like the tundra out here but anyway uh that's pretty much the project all the other little details um you guys can work out for yourself um like i said the only other two maybe two things i'd do is put some eighth inch aluminum strip in here and put caps on the pipe and that's it so I hope this helps some of you guys I get these plastic barrels off of Craigslist they're like 20 bucks a piece sometimes you get lucky you can find them at yard sales for five ten bucks sometimes people on Craigslist just want to get rid of them so keep your eyes open 
Um, check offer up as well. Offer up uh, has been really good too. So um, if you have any questions, leave them into the comments below. And um, if you like this video, please like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe.